good day all of you welcome to our session welcome to our channel intelligible tutorials in this today's session now we are going to discuss about some uh, kind of the troubles of program how it can be represented uh, and what are the various logic inside in it how this troublesome program can be explained in our past videos i have described in the software testing methodologies regarding decision tables and its structures how the decision table can be described what are the tables what are the respective tables of that particular uh, decision diagram the troublesome diagram and how it can be represented all these things we have seen in our past classes now i am going to describe the program the decisions can be represented in the form of a troublesome program and it can be represented in the form of a diagram like this logic diagram so how this logic diagram can be represented with some set of the states and some set of the actions okay <clears throat> now let us see this is one example of the troublesome program and here uh, we see see some of the conditions are represented as a b c these are the conditions here see here you can see easily uh, just yeah c b a these are the conditions actually and a1 a2 a3 are the actions and 1 2 3 4 like that we are having various kinds of the states here 2 is the end state here and another two is the end state here like that the entire program can be represented in the form of a logical diagram so how the conditions are met how the actions can be taken in this particular program let us explain now let me explain this particular program how it can be represented see what is the first point it is saying that if condition a is met do process action 1 no matter other actions are taken on what conditions are met so we should not bother about the other kind of kind of the actions or other kind of the conditions whatever they are taking first whenever the condition met a is met in this diagram c c this is the a so whenever you met this particular condition then action a1 a1 should be done a1 is the action one and coming to the condition b is met do process a2 no matter what other actions are taken or what other actions or conditions are met that means what it is saying is whenever condition b is met directly go to the action 2 and implement the action 2 now what is the uh, point number 3 it is saying that if condition c is met do process action a3 and no matter what other actions are taken into account that means whatever it is what what it is saying is whenever you meet the condition 3 okay this is the condition c okay so whenever condition c is met directly you go to the action 3 execute the action 3 and no matter wherever it has met and how it was met okay so like this you have to do next if none of the conditions met then do process a1 a2 and a3 if no condition is met then do the process a1 a2 and 3 okay so uh, do the, all the actions when no conditions are met so when more than one process is done process a1 must be done first then action 2 and then action 3 so uh, the only the permissible cases should be in the order of a1 individual a1 individual a2 individual a3 a1 comma a3 a2 comma a3 and a1 a2 a3 so these points to be noted while implementing this particular troublesome program when more than one process is done process a1 must be done first then a2 and then a3 like that okay the conversion of this particular program into the decision table is given as below so how it is nothing but see here condition whatever it is what what it is saying is condition a is met okay a bar b bar c no a bar b bar c no a bar b c no a bar b c bar no a b because a is there is no bar for a then yes then a is no bar whenever there is no bar in a then it may, this will be uh, executed okay so what it is the reverse of this is uh, the next one is nothing but condition b when b bar is there that is no no when b bar is not there that is saying s yes. and condition c is met then that is whenever uh, there is no bars this is no and whenever c c is there uh, yes and whenever condition c is met c is there yes when c bar is there it is no and it is no 
and see is there, see is there, it is yes. So, how the actions can be generated by the following conditions, okay. Whenever no condition is met, okay, all the actions can be done. So, whenever condition C is met, do the action 3, okay, as per the previous last it told, just C. None of the condition is met, what it is saying, none of the condition is met, then do the process all, A1, A2, A3. More than one process is done, do the process A1 must be done first, then A2, then A3. The order must be as this, A1, A2, A3, A1, A3, A2, A3, A1, A2, A3, A1, A2, A3 like this. Okay, we have to remember these rules by construction of this table. This table just simply describes those rules only. See, let us see. So, whenever no conditions are met, all the actions will be implemented. Whenever condition is met, C is met, then do the action 3. Whenever condition B and C met, do the action 2 and action 3. Whenever condition B is only met, do the action 2. Whenever condition A and B 2 met, do the action 1 and action 2. Whenever all the conditions met, do all the actions in the order as A1, A2, action 1, action 2 and action 3. Okay. Do action 1, action 2 and action 3. So, A and C conditions met, then do the action 1 and action 3. Only A is done, then do the action 1. Like that, the table can be described. So, whatever the flow graph it is representing here in the form of the troublesome program. So, we have to um, identify the rules in it and based on these rules, you can con construct the decision table for this by using the expansion of that particular table. So, this is a troublesome program to be explained um, how the actions can get executed basing on certain number of the conditions. So, what conditions met, what actions to be generated based on certain number of the rules it has described. Okay. In the coming video, we talk about logic based uh, testing and path expressions. So, if at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel, Intelligible Tutorials. Thank you one and all. Thank you.